Hey what is up guys Akhil Shir back with another video and today we are going to talk about the LM317 which is popularly known as the linear voltage regulator uh, this is a 3 pin device semiconductor device which is of course used as a voltage regulator uh, instead of linear voltage regulator I would prefer this to be called variable So the variable voltage regulator. So this can work something like a DC uh, step down buck converter and uh, yeah that if you know what this thing is then you can understand probably what this thing is. So we will talk about this the LM317 today and see how this works how in a circuit this can be used. So firstly in the pin diagram, I will tell you what the pins are for. So the first pin is the adjust pin. The second pin is the output pin. And the third pin is the input pin. So we will label these pins as say A, O and I. So these three pins, the adjust pin, the output pin and the input pin. So let's see how can we apply this thing in a circuit diagram. So we'll see a type of a block diagram thing. Uh, yeah, probably a block diagram we may call it. So uh, yeah, this is the LM317 block. So LM317. Uh, we have three pins over here uh, this is probably the input line and this is probably the output line uh, for the input so in plus and yeah here we have the out plus so we need in this circuit a couple of resistors and a couple of uh, capacitors firstly a capacitor will be placed here which will be can be of 0.1 microfarad and it can be greater than this also uh, this will be connected right down here to the ground okay so this is the ground uh, we will have there a connection here as R2 and here we will have a resistor as R1 hope that is clear here also we will have a capacitor which must be of minimum 1 microfarad. So basically these two capacitors will determine that your output is steady and not in a wavy type form. Okay, so it will be DC output. So the three pins here is obviously this is input, this is adjust and this is output. So this is pin number one, the output pin, this is pin number two and the input pin, this is pin number three. So if we take in this, so this pin is connected here, this pin is connected here and this pin is connected here. So this is how this works. Uh, for the variable thing, we can place a variable resistor R2. So when we vary this, the output voltage varies. Now you may think how do if we want to make a fixed power supply using this, how do we calculate the values of R1 and R2? Well, that's simple. We have a formula defined in the data sheets of uh, the LM317 and the formula is V out is equal to 1.25 cross 1 plus R2 by R1 plus I adjust cross R2. You may think what this I adjust is. It is nothing technical. It is just this term. Uh, this is I adjust is adjust is approximately equal to uh, more less than 100 microfarad. So let will take it uh, micro amperes my mistake. Uh, so it will be approximately equal to 50 micro amperes. Let us take this so 
when we plug in this value it becomes very small so we neglect this value so we neglect this value so our net equation becomes v0 is equal to 1.25 1 plus r2 by r1 yes so for calculating the v output if we want to fix a v out we can cross multiply and do fancy stuff like that for example uh, yeah v0 by 1.25 minus 1 is equal to r2 by r1 we can put in arbitrary values of r1 and though change the r2 so this ratio must be fixed so finally we get this formula so yeah that is the formula we use uh, so yeah that is how we use it you can put this thing into the circuit use a couple of resistors use a variable resistor right here for i mean use a 10 pot 10 turn pot like this roll it roll it and change the voltage that is the magic of this thing but there are some limitations uh, firstly we will see the power uh, which is dissipated for, by that thing i also remember that you should always heat sink this baby up because it can release a lot of heat energy and that is calculated by a formula which is p is equal to v in minus v out cross the i out i out obviously being this so in this circuit if the value of the difference of the input voltage and the output voltage is very large the power becomes large so the heat yeah the fire is large i'll probably note this as orange yeah is large so we don't want this that's why in many purposes this is used as this does not dissipate as much power as this can if your output current is less or the difference you know in the application will be less then you should use this instead of the buck converter as this will definitely cost less so this is how the lm317 works this is the magic of lm317 you have the circuit diagram, you have the formula, just apply it, use this circuit diagram, put in the V out voltage if you want to make a fixed one or keep the R2 variable, R1 fixed and you are ready with a variable DC power supply. So if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel till now, do it. And this is Akash signing off.